Can I sit in a car? Yes, wow. It has to be one of the most well-known cars in movies. The US documentary series Chasing Classic Cars, which airs on Motor Trend, is all about doing what the title says. The TV show is about the host, Wayne Carini, who finds and looks at classic cars from all different time periods. He tries to get them running or fixed up so he can sell them for a profit, which doesn't always go as planned. Wayne Carini is an expert car restorer and TV figure from the United States. Because he was in chasing classic cars, he became more well-known. He loves cars and runs several businesses. His net worth is high enough that he can afford to live a luxurious life. So, come with us as we look at Wayne Carini's high-class life. Wayne was born in Portland, USA, on October 13, 1951. On Mont Hill Road in Glastonbury, Connecticut, his father ran a shop that fixed up old cars. Wayne became interested in cars because he spent a lot of time at his dad's repair shop. His parents taught him to love cars when he was young. He and his father always went to car shows. When he was nine, he drove a 1960 Rosso Chiero 250 sub Ferrari and was hooked on cars for life. Wayne was interested in cars, so he started sweeping the floors of his father's shop when he was in elementary school. He made $5 a week. Then he moved on to fixing Lincolns, Packards, and Duesenbergs after school and during the summer. Working with his father at the repair shop gave him a lot of experience and knowledge. He went to college right after high school and got a degree in art teaching. He wanted to be a teacher, but he gave up on that dream and became one of the most well-known car restorers in the United States, just like his father. Wayne learned how to restore Ferraris from his mentor, French Wiscacard, a veteran Ferrari race mechanic who is known as the best expert on Ferraris on the East Coast. Wayne also learned from working with his father. He also learned from his good friend Luigi Cinetti Jr., whose father, Luigi Cinetti Sr., won the 1949 24 Hours of Le Mans for Ferrari. Because Wayne knew Cinetti, he was able to meet the first Ferrari salesman in the country. Wayne has owned and run three car-related businesses in Portland since he was shown the first Ferrari store in the country. These are Continental Auto LTD, Carini Corusaria, and F40 Motorsports. Continental Auto is a place that fixes cars that have been in accidents. It specializes in fixing expensive and unusual cars. Carini Corusaria specializes in fixing up old cars, while F40 Motorsports gets and sells old cars. The show is known all over the world as one of the best car shows, and Wayne is known as one of the best car restorers in the world because of it. On the show, fans get a look at the world of car restoration from behind the scenes. People get to see Wayne meet interesting people and find out amazing stories about the cars he finds. Wayne Carini is a big part of what makes chasing classic cars so popular. That, and the fact that the TV docuseries had a good story and was well made. Wayne is very important to the success of the show because of his knowledge and friendly nature. A 1957 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing is one of the most interesting cars Wayne found on the show. The Gullwing is one of the most sought-after classic cars in the world. Wayne brought it back to its former glory and sold it for a whopping $790,000. Wayne also had the chance to work on a car that was in the Guinness Book of Records. Irv Gordon owned this red Volvo P1800 car until 2018. It has traveled 3.2 million miles which puts it in the Guinness Book of World Records. Wayne Carini spends all his money on what? What do you do if you love cars and have a net worth of $20 million? Well, you probably buy cars that are well-known and hard to find, so people want them a lot. Wayne Carini has done this very thing over the years. Wayne has a wonderful collection of cars. Wayne has a lot of cars, but his yellow 1953 Hudson Italia stands out the most. So. This is the car that got me interested in weird and odd cars in the first place. I liked cars anyway when I was a kid. I love Ferreras, but this car showed up at my dad's shop when I was 16. It started with a small scratch on the hood, and I fell in love with it. Wayne has worked for 36 years to get this car, which was made by Frank Spring. Even though it was made in 1953, it has some great features. In the end, Wayne Carini's life is an example for many people to follow. His life is a story of love, drive, and hard work. Wayne Carini shows what success is all about, whether he's fixing up an old car, hosting a TV show, or spending time with his family. He shows that if you work hard and care about something, you can do anything. So the next time you see a classic car on the road, 
Think of Wayne Carini and the art of chasing classic cars.